Hello and welcome to The O Show. On this edition, as we are in November, we have a very interesting topic. How you express yourself come in many, many ways. And today we're going to meet a person who is an auditor. And, uh, but most interestingly, she's also an artist. Uh, a great person on the e-media and you have tremendous followers. Let's meet Raya al -Maskari. Throughout this November, we will bring you different flavors of the Sultanate of Oman. Today, it's going to be through her paintings and her choice of reflection. So, Raya, welcome to the O Show. Thank you so much and thanks for hosting me in your show. It's a real honor. The honor is mine. It has been a pleasure to always follow you on the social media and uh, look at your sketches and of course your artwork and it always leaves you with a smile. Do you plan it that way? Actually it comes out spontaneously. I kind of reflect my daily experiences. Sometimes it's fictional, sometimes it's real with a little adjustments and change in characters. Mm -hmm. So uh, the thing about it is Raya could be stuck in a traffic jam somewhere. Where do you usually get uh, stuck in the traffic? Oh, many places, especially <laughs> in the morning when I go to work. Yes, um, that's not a pretty time. Yeah. <laughs> um, and when I leave work, so the whole SQH road is usually cramped because everyone is leaving at the same time. Right. So usually I'm stuck. But that's, that's when morning. you get a lot of ideas, I think. I get inspired <laughs> from the daily challenge, let's say, because I consider traffic as a challenge. You need to battle against time and reach in time mm -hmm. uh, at your workplace. So I usually come up with crazy ideas that respects, um, that expresses. Um, it's only for fun. It's not yes. really a traffic solution. Yes. And uh, the But it gives you a bit of sense of humor to handle the traffic next time. Exactly. We are it, you know? <laughs> it's like taking things uh, from a different perspective instead of just complaining about it and ruin my whole day over it mm -hmm. i just do these funny cartoons and yes you know Good enjoy it. and it's all digital most of the time mostly the the traffic solution cartoons are digital yeah i draw it by notes mm -hmm. uh, samsung note and uh, because it's easy it's light i just i can do it anywhere and everywhere i don't need to carry materials around so yeah that's why it's mostly uh, digital Okay, so take your seat and uh, let's okay. uh, find out more from Raya uh, about her work because recently she's been in the media and that is because of her coffee art. And coffee art, of course, it's practiced in the world, but she, the way she got into coffee art is quite interesting. It is actually from an art blog. Tell us about <laughs> it. <laughs> and stale coffee, you said. Yeah, exactly. So uh, there was a time where I had a major art blog where I wasn't able to produce anything at all. And I was surfing through the internet. I, I just wanted to point out that I'm not a pioneer mm -hmm. of this kind of uh, art style or an art technique. I've seen many on uh, Pinterest, on mm -hmm. Google, on Instagram and other social media platforms. And I thought, okay, why not? So incidentally, there was an, a stale coffee that has, hasn't been used for some time. And uh, I thought of experimenting with it. And then I came up with this kind of art work. So I'll just show you some of them. Um, it, it even got attention in the regional media, didn't it? Yeah, but then in the beginning, I posted that, that artwork and there wasn't much attention. People, yeah. I think they weren't used to this kind of artwork. They mm -hmm. were expecting more of the cartoons or that uh, From sort of you, thing. especially. Yeah, so I barely had any, you know, likes or comments oh, so or beautiful. that sort of thing. And then the International Day of Coffee came up. It was ah, in a weekend, so I think okay. I was lucky with the timing. Yes. And I just thought of my coffee art, and uh -huh. I thought, okay, why, why don't I just post it? On online? that day, that's smart marketing. Exactly. <laughs> so it went viral. I was, I was really surprised at the way that people perceived this work. Mm -hmm. I mean, back in the days, I posted it and barely had any response. And then the coffee day came, and it went... It went viral. So. Ah, this is yeah. beautiful. Uh, you know, the coffee art I have seen, but also one thing we must say is your art flows. You know, the coffee just flows and the same brown coffee has given you so many different shades. Yeah. It also tells you, uh, tells us about your strokes and the confidence you have uh, on canvas or paper. Actually, it's a cumulative uh, skill. Mostly art skills are accumulated, even if it's just a line. Mm -hmm. The artist uh, learns it days back and then masters the skills. And then 
the techniques comes uh, along. So I, I work before with watercolor, ink, um, many other different materials that are a bit similar to the coffee one. Mm -hmm. And that's where I, I didn't have much challenge with the coffee. It's a bit different, mm -hmm. uh, slightly different than the ink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how uh, I came up with the, with the layers and the shadings and that sort of thing. I treated the coffee like watercolor, a combination between watercolor and ink because ink is a bit thick mm -hmm. and watercolor is a bit transparent and light and coffee comes in between these two. Mm -hmm. So that's how I managed to work with, with this kind of uh, material. And you'll see that coffee, she carries it so conveniently in a few minutes time. But what I want to bring in is also she tries it with her left hand. Yeah. This I, is I even made a video out of it. It's a, it's a Chinese ink. Okay. So the left hand is beautiful yeah. too. Actually, it was a challenge. I, I, I myself didn't expect it to turn out this way. I even signed with the left hand. Oh. See, see how it turned and, out. And um, your paintings have... The eyes are very prominent. Uh, yeah. I, I think it's, uh, it's a reflection of my eyes or something <laughs> like that. Okay. Because usually people... Uh, say that uh, when an artist draws a self-portrait there's always something from his own oh. features uh, I think if that explains something I mean your face is the most face that you see and, yeah. you, and yet you don't see mm -hmm. so when you mm -hmm. wake up in the morning the first thing you do is, you, is looking into your face mm -hmm. and uh, when you go to anywhere that is a reflective surface mm -hmm. what do you see you see your face so maybe that explains having an artist features mm -hmm. within the portrait art no matter what kind of figure mm -hmm. the artist is, uh, is working on mm -hmm. they always end up bringing those elements those little elements of their features maybe some artists don't yeah we, we it's not fair to generalize things, yes but many of them and you don't do it intentionally but it comes naturally also. most of the time it's just spontaneous kind yeah. of uh, art just i just do it without planning but what is interesting is uh, of course her e-media influence uh, with her followers as well as uh, the presence she actually took part in the training yeah. for uh, Asariya 3 Asariya and uh, Ashur 2 yeah. so see this is what has come out these are your recent recent paintings yeah, right? yeah these are the latest uh, artwork so this is straight from the grounds of the training exactly these are amazing collections Then. The one which is very popular now in the social media. Okay. Um, I was following this and some of your followers wanted to see more professions in it, right? Exactly. <laughs> they demanded uh, more professions. Maybe next time uh, yes. I'm going to work on it. Uh, this one as well came after a major art block because, you know, it was at the end of the exercise. Yes. We were all overwhelmed and exhausted. But then... Uh, you know, the final one was the That's cherry the, on top of the pie. Ah. So, yeah. Beautiful. So we'll now go to see your live demonstration. Sure thing. Uh, the message, I think, when you spend time with Araya is uh, that uh, uh, art is important, especially for the youngsters, because I think when we are young, you think all children have art in them. Uh, yeah, all children are born creative and they're born as natural artists. Okay. Uh, but then... They enter schools and their parents kind of tell them what to do and okay. inform them that, uh, you know, art is not a career. So yes. you need to focus on scientific subjects. Yes. I do understand that point of view, but then I, I believe that parents shouldn't, all, shouldn't stop their children from exploring mm -hmm. in the field of creativity because mm -hmm. it will always benefit them in the future. Okay. Even if they end up as engineers or doctors or that sort of thing, having an art talent can help them see things from a creative uh, point of view. Okay. So, like you. I mean, you're an yeah. auditor by profession. <laughs> yeah, recently but assigned as a lead auditor. Lead yeah. auditor. So let's have the live demonstration right, right. here. Thank you. For the coffee, yeah. So this is the coffee. Oh yes. I kept it in a nice neat bottle. <laughs> so, but usually it's a messy one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it's it's not even layered. I mean, it's staying there with the consistency. Yeah, you? yeah. I kept it for a while. Yeah. I I was again experimenting with the coffee. I okay. I, I wanted to know if it's going to layer or mm -hmm. it's going to 
stay as a solid paint. Mm -hmm. So I'm using a certain type of coffee because I wow. experimented with different types. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. So okay. I ended up convinced with this one. Did you try with Armani coffee? I tried uh -huh. it. The Armani coffee is transparent. It's, that's oh. a beautiful quality of Armani coffee, but then it's not... It's, I, I, still didn't know, I didn't know how to manifest it or you know, work on it in the paper, in the paper okay. because it's transparent. So I need strong contrast to, yes. to make the figures oh. uh, more defined. Okay. Yes, so, I can imagine that. Yeah. And it might have spices as well. But the best part <laughs> exactly. is uh, her paintings, you can smell the coffee. So yeah. anytime you need inspiration, all you've got to do is go look at them and yes. smell too. Yeah, actually, it's a, it's a sensual experience. Yeah. So you, can, you look and, and smell. Smell, I yeah. think so too. And feel as well. So yes. yes. You have several senses that yes. are activated throughout the artwork. Excellent. Now we'll start with the coffee. Okay. So I'll need a bottle. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be a really quick one. Okay. And um, the cover is one. Yes. Cover is possible. Is it a... So I start with a water wash. Mm -hmm. I mean, every art artist has uh, their own different styles Style, yes and mine I usually work on the wash mm -hmm. so that's how I start with it so what I'm gonna do now is to bring the coffee yeah the, the most exciting yes. part <laughs> so here And you can smell the coffee. And yeah. this is very, it's a real concentrated yeah, it is. of coffee. Yeah, actually, I remember once I went to, uh, to a cafe and mm -hmm. I thought of of working on one of the sketches. Yeah. So I ordered a triple uh, shot <laughs> espresso. Okay. And the waiter kept staring at me like, oh, is she trying to commit suicide or something? <laughs> and uh, so he got me and he was a bit, he couldn't help being curious. And... Uh, and then he figured out, oh, okay, you ordered it for, for art because I was a bit surprised. It was one of the strangest orders we had. Mm. So this is a quick sketch, yes. a quick brief sketch. Um, to begin with, watercolor is the one, I think, one of the most difficult medium to work with, right? Actually, it is because watercolor, you need to keep uh, the transparency yes. and the least layers as yeah. possible, unless you know what you're doing because... Okay. There's always this uh, breaking the barriers and the, the rules and arts. Yeah. So there are some artists who, are, who exaggerate with the layers. Oh. And it's their art style because they know what they're doing. Okay. But well, as a beginner, it's a bit, it's one of the hardest uh, techniques in art. Mm -hmm. Because the, the, you know, the quality is defined uh, mm -hmm. through the level of transparency mm -hmm. uh, of the layers. So this is the first layer mm -hmm. we are working on the mountain. Now you developed your art um, as a very young child. Yeah, as a very child. early age. Uh, because my parents believe in art, they never mm. stopped me from exploring mm. and working on. They kept uh, encouraging me on developing my art skills. So I think part of my, of me yeah. being who I am today is my parents' support. Mm. So I think every parent should always believe in their, in their children's. Uh, talents mm -hmm. and hobbies and never say that this is not going to be this is not going to benefit you in the future mm -hmm. because you don't know how future ends yes and you don't know how are you going to end up um, investing in your talent yes. so we are almost done okay. let's just wait for for it to dry the coffee to dry might, uh, might add up another layer another layer with yeah. details and then my i might ink it as well ah. um, with with a, with a, a pen Okay, okay. So now we'll just... Uh, 
you 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 sar- sarcasm a lot in your <laughs> in, <laughs> in my your cartoons. cartoons. Let's go to your cartoons as well. Yeah. Because uh, they make great statements. Yeah. And you reflect, especially on the society, on women, for instance. Uh, so, what's the kind of feedback you get? Uh, some people get insulted <laughs> because they think it's about them, even and though they get take it personal. Yeah. yeah, they take it personal, and usually it's not about them. It's not about anyone, especially because my cartoons come in parts. Uh, we have the Kesha part, the girl mm-hmm. with the curls. Yeah. Yes. And then we have the working lady yeah. the, in the office. In the office, it has to hear everyone else. Come <laughs> yeah, home exactly. And... So it reflects the working woman and and the challenge that. is not only faced in the middle east but it's a global challenge like boring meetings boring yes. slide shows uh, that's <laughs> the things that we have in common in our work environments um, and then i have this traffic solution so mm-hmm. traffic is a global thing mm-hmm. we can't escape from it we can't deny it it's there and um, so that's how I'm, i'm reflecting it and it's a bilingual one so it's not only for the locals but it's even for for an international range So uh, as well, I have uh, the family, uh, the two boys mm-hmm. and the girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're totally imaginary yeah. uh, family. It's not based on real people. But then some of my friends and family members come up Cousins. with stories. Exactly, <laughs> come up with stories of their children. And they're like, "Oh, please make a cartoon out of it because it's funny." So I'm I'm kind of working on. Uh, turning these stories into cartoons and incredibly people can totally relate mm-hmm. and some of them kind of discuss mm-hmm. the best way to make them sleep at night uh, and I'm totally out of this so I'm like okay <laughs> it's not my field but you guys can discuss about it and give you ideas exactly so that's uh, these are the parts of uh, my cartoons and uh, is it going to the next level uh, what, what would you like to maybe probably in the future uh, document it Okay. On, a, on a printed uh, copy. Okay. Uh, but that's going to be in the future. Okay. Uh, I need to really gather all that kind of and artwork. Plan, and, yeah. and, plan. and so there we get to see her art, the coffee art, which has been really, really gaining popularity. And it adds yet another feather to your cap, Raya. It's a beautiful piece of work. Thank you. Thank and uh, you forgot to sign again. I'm waiting for, <laughs> for the coffee to dry. <laughs> I was about to say ink, but then I remembered it's coffee. It's coffee, so. yes. Yeah. So uh, having coffee with Raya is a different experience altogether. Mind you, if you have your cup of coffee, you never know where the brush would go into your cup or not. Exactly. So <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. Uh, keep up with your inspiration, your talent, and most importantly, your sense of humor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here with us on um, the O Show. Thanks for hosting me here. Thank you.